I actually have a CPA firm, a certified financial planning firm. Uh, I have three banks, and I have a 24 other entrepreneur companies I've been involved with over the years. So it's not just one thing, although primarily I'm a CPA. I came from a town of 300 people, and uh, I was one of the first to ever go to college out of my, my hometown. And at that point, it was kind of an economic decision. You know, where can I go to school that I can afford to, to go to? I was able to come to ISU, and at that time when I arrived here, there was 4,500 students. And I had never seen 4,500 people in one place before in my whole life. It was quite a culture shock to come here, but I found my niche. You know, I found that professors cared whether or not I uh, learned, and uh, I got involved with a lot of organizations uh, that kind of set the tone for my whole life. I got that from ISU. My first job, I was a claim adjuster here in the uh, local office, and uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a great job. Um, I, it was one of those jobs where I could kind of play golf during the day and work at night because people were home at night, you know, for the claim adjusting, and everything was going great until the Vietnam War started, and then that's when things started to change. I was going to get drafted. So I decided, well, I'll investigate what the other possibilities are. So I always wanted to fly airplanes, so I signed up and became an F-105 pilot. And after that, I was actually recruited out of that into the CIA. Uh, I was what was called the field office commander. So I was responsible for either making things happen or making sure things didn't happen. And I had 14 countries uh, that I was responsible for. Then I decided, well, I got to find a job where they don't shoot at you. So then I decided, I think I'll become an accountant. So uh, I was an accounting major at ISU, and what I wish someone had done while I was in school was tell me about risks. You know, how to make decisions, you know, what the risks are and how to avoid them or to accept them. You know, I don't think people realize, especially students, you know, when they make their way past the, the graduation and into life, you know, what risks they're going to face, whether it's in a job or it's in a company, or in it's an entrepreneur type thing, you know, you have to be able to evaluate these things. And that's what I think they need to learn. I told them in this last presentation to keep their eyes and ears open, not just think that they have to get a job at a big company. You know, consider, you know, either an idea of their own, or maybe going to work for a smaller company that's got some opportunities for growth or for ownership. And, uh, you know, there's lots of possibilities out there. In fact, in the economic downturns that we've just gone through, and I've been through probably six of those in my lifetime, there's a lot of opportunities out there because the economy is going through this process. People need help. You may be the best plumber or the best electrician or the best auto mechanic, but that doesn't make you the best businessman. You know, search those people out and say, hey, I'm a new college graduate, you know, and I've had some marketing training, some accounting training, you know. I think I can help you, okay. I need enough money to live on, but I also would like to share in what I help create, you know. So make your way in the world.